Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to discuss about redundancy analysis. Redundancy analysis is it is a method to extract and summarize the variation in a set of response variables that can be explained by a set of explanatory uh, variables. More accurately, the redundancy analysis is a direct gradient analysis technique which summarizes linear relationship between the component of response variable that are redundant with a set of explanatory uh, variables. To compute this, redundancy analysis extends multiple linear regression by allowing regression of multiple response variables on multiple uh, explanatory variables. And then a matrix of fitted value of all response variables that generated through multiple linear regression is then subjected to a PCA or principal component analysis. So to uh, sum up, uh, redundancy analysis is uh, uh, a multivariate multiple linear regression uh, that followed by uh, principal component analysis of the table of uh, fitted values. And then, and then before uh, skipping or uh, before computing the redundancy analysis uh, using our software, uh, it is better to incorporate uh, or it's better to check these uh, five points. And the first one is uh, if your response variables are not uh, dimensionally homogeneous, that means uh, if your data have a different uh, base unit of uh, measurements, you have to do uh, two things. The first one is you have to center uh, your data on their means. Again, the second one is you have to standardize uh, your uh, data. Uh, but it's not advisable uh, to standardize uh, when you have um, a row count data. And the second one is uh, you must be sure that uh, the number of explanatory variable uh, is less than to the number of uh, objects. For example, your objects may be insights, maybe uh, samples, maybe observation or etc. So you have to uh, just your number of explanatory variable uh, must be less than to the number of your objects or samples or observation. If not, your system uh, will be uh, over determined. And the third point that you have to check before going to analysis is uh, if your explanatory variable are not dimensionally homogeneous, which is uh, uh, similar to the first point, but the first point is uh, your response variable, but the third point is your explanatory uh, variable. So uh, if you haven't uh, uh, dimensionally homogeneous uh, variables or uh, if your data contain uh, uh, different physical unit for the explanatory uh, variable, again, you have to use the center as well as the standardization uh, system. Then the fourth, the fourth point that you must uh, consider before uh, skipping the analysis is uh, to examine the distribution of each variable in your, uh, uh, in, your, in your explanatory and response matrix as well as uh, plots of uh, each variable against uh, other variable in its own and any other uh, matrix. And if you found that if the relationship are uh, markedly nonlinear, so you you have to apply the principle of transformation in order to uh, linearize the relationship and uh, in fact and in fact uh, reduce the effect of uh, outliers. And if you remember, uh, I provide uh, a tutorial. I provided a tutorial regarding to a data transformation, uh, like a linear transformation, like uh, logarithm transformation like square root transformation, LAN or arcsine transformation. Uh, again, again, also the uh, power transformation uh, system like uh, Taki, uh, Taki ladder, and box cox. So these are all uh, these all transformation techniques helps uh, you uh, just to linearize the relationship and to reduce the effects of uh, outliers. And lastly, uh, if you wish uh, to represent the non-equilibrium relationship uh, between uh, objects in redundancy analysis ordination, you should apply an ecologically uh, motivated 
uh, transformation. And there are a number of ecologically motivated transformation like uh, Hillinger, like chord, like chi-square metric, chi-square distance, and lastly, distance between uh, species profiles. So let's see uh, each one by one. The first one is uh, Hillinger. Uh, Hillinger is one of uh, ecologically motivated uh, transformation method that uh, practically treated to species abundance data. And uh, using uh, this type of transformation data, it will give you uh, low weights to variable with low counts and uh, many zero. And the transformation itself, uh, the, the transformation itself uh, comprises uh, dividing of each value in your data matrix by its row sum and taking the square root of the uh, question. And uh, uh, coming to the second ecologically motivated transformation technique, which is a uh, uh, curve, which is similar to the Hillinger transformation, but uh, it gives you a low weight to variables with low count and uh, many zeros. So uh, this technique or this uh, transformation method uh, divides its values in your data matrix by the square root of its marginal sum square, and uh, it thereby sets the marginal sum square to one. And the other one is the uh, chi-square uh, metric, and this type of techniques uh, it helps you with uh, variables with low count and many zero. Uh, are given uh, high weights and which may be uh, helpful or advantageous if there is uh, presence uh, if the presence is highly indicative of uh, certain phenomenon and uh, under such circumstances uh, each value in the data matrix is divided by uh, the product of it is row sum with the square root of it is a uh, column and sum and the other uh, technique is a chi-square distance and uh, this technique is a product of value, uh, values that are uh, transformed by the previous one that means by the chi-square metric and the square root of the sum all counts in the data matrix and mostly uh, this distance is used in the correspondence as well as in the correspondence analysis as well as in the canonical correspondence uh, analysis and lastly uh, is the distance between a species profile or sometimes is referred as a species profile and uh, which is uh, similar to the chi-square metric but it doesn't give a high weight to the uh, variables with uh, low count and uh, many zero so uh, uh, if your data have uh, variables with higher values and a few zeros contribute to uh, more the distance uh, uh, calculation. So in order to transform your data using uh, the distance between uh, uh, species profile approach, uh, the value of uh, uh, each in your data or in the data matrix is, uh, is divided by it is zero, uh, it's zero sum. And this is all about today's tutorial regarding to the concept of redundancy analysis. And I will come up with other video in computing redundancy analysis using the vegan package using our software. Until then, have a nice time.